I don't know how many people know this, and I only found this out this morning, is that you had a tryout with the WWF in 1989, or you did a dark match anyway. Do you remember where it was, and do you remember who it was with? I believe it was in Winston-Salem, I think, and it was against Barry Horowitz, I believe. I've got, I've got Barry Horowitz, and I've got Greensboro, North Carolina. That, is that yes. right? Is that right? Yes, yes. So yes. How, how did you end up getting the call for that? Who recommended you? Well, I was in the uh, um, uh, with uh, Nelson Royal at the time, and they were coming through, and they were looking for guys. And um, I was at the, t- I think at the time I was their champion. Um, it wasn't long, six months or so. I was carrying the strap, so I had I picked it up really fast. And uh, so Nelson put the strap on me, and then of course when WWF came around, they wanted to build their guys up. So um, he sent me along with he sent me to Japan too uh, from that. When I worked with uh, the Japan Wrestling Company, I went over there under Nelson Royal. So I got a lot of opportunity because uh, I think Nelson saw the ability that I had early on and was really pushing me. So uh, I don't know if you remember anything specific from the match, but do you remember maybe who was the agent for the match, if there even was one? Did you speak to any of the other people there? Any other memories? I don't remember. All I remember is walking into the locker room. There was ultimate warrior and uh arn anderson and a few other people i believe and i remember walking i didn't have any experience of what it was like there and and ultimate went out to the ring because it was a a house match so he went on like second third or fourth or something like that he runs into the ring like he normally does he shakes the robes crushes somebody and runs back to the locker room and so as i'm walking in there i'm walking the locker room he just got done with his match he's sitting on a stool he's bending over unlacing his shoes and he literally passed out and fell on the floor. <laughs> and I was like, and nobody did anything. They were all walking around him. Like, just literally, like, it was like a, every day, right? And I was like, hey, dude, this dude, he's dying. Something's wrong with him. And I was like, I remember Orange just kind of laughing. He'll be all right. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> That's actually, like, no, so he just looked at him and said, okay. It just sort of walked yeah. off then. <laughs> now I'm like, dude, this is crazy. You're like, of course I know now, right? It's like a guy he went in and blew himself up. And then instead of letting him come down, he bent over and tried to do something and he just lost himself. And it wasn't the first time it happened to him, obviously, because everybody kind of figured it was happening. I was like, well, okay, I guess you guys would know best. <laughs> <laughs> was this match, sort of, was this just like a, tr- this wasn't a tryout match then. It was just, you were a body to fill in, to fill up the card then. You know, just like Vince, I think Vince was always looking for talent, but when you come in, you're going to do a job. Like, but um, when I came in there, I went under as Vince Torelli and, and uh, I went in and did it, but I didn't just do one. I came back and I did two more after that. So um, obviously they saw something cause they kept bringing me back. 